I've seen a hundred tutorials on how to get NAT type two or open NAT working for your PlayStation or Xbox. And none of them really worked to my satisfaction. All of them involved port forwards and, and or UPnP um, and multiple port forwards if you have multiple PlayStations. And all of that seemed um, nonsensical because using your ISP provided router or something off the shelf, um, type two NAT or open NAT works sort of the box. So came across a forum post uh, that talked about destination port rewrites and how BSD firewalls do that by default. And he noted that when looking at the firewall, um, one rule had um, uh, destination port rewrites disabled and static ports enabled. So he went on to explain how um, changing your outgoing NAT rule uh, fixed all of those um, um, NAT rules for him. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. We're going to go to Firewall, NAT, Outbound. And uh, these are the two rules that are created automatically. And this is the one that piqued his interest with um, the static destination port. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to just recreate this rule to some degree and make sure static port comes uh, set with yes enabled. So first thing we're going to select manual outbound not rule generation, which will disable these two rules. And we're going to create a brand new rule. Selecting your WAM interface here. I've renamed my interfaces. Yours will probably just say WAN. Select your source address as your LAN net. And everything else should work by default, but you can also select your uh, WAN address here instead of leaving it as interface address if you'd like to be more granular. And then the secret sauce, static port, checked. You can set a description if you want. We're going to call this that to slash open that. Save. And then we'll look at the rule just to make sure everything's right. Interface, source, and all, all, all. Here's our NAT address and static port, yes. Now we can apply the changes. And that's it. Your NAT Type 2 on PlayStation and Open NAT on Xbox will just work. Now, the caveat is that if you have an open session, uh, an open NAT session already, uh, it could take a long time for that session to drop. So you can try rebooting your firewall, Switch, or PlayStation, Xbox for it to work properly uh, and generate a new NAT session. Or you can just wait 24 hours and I'm sure it'll time out uh, before, you, before you go testing it because it might not test correctly right away. That's it. All there is to it.